Hello and welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Courtney and my channel is all about connecting with crystals and learning about their metaphysical benefits and really just becoming aware of this unique energy that's available to all of us. So thank you for joining me. Today's video, I'm super excited to continue on with my Crystals and Zodiac series. Today, I will be highlighting some amazing crystals for the sign Cancer. I had a lot of fun reflecting on the individuals in my life that are Cancer and kind of fine tuning these crystal selections. So without further ado, let's dive into today's video. If you are a returning subscriber, let me know by liking this video right now, or if you're just super excited to learn about some awesome crystals for the sign Cancer, give this video a big like. It really does help me out. I just want to start off by saying that I am not an astrologer. I love learning about astrology. I love following the phases of the moon, studying the zodiacs, but I am not an astrologer. I really wanted to take time to pick out some crystals that really mesh well with the energy of cancer and also find crystals that would really benefit the sign if you're watching this and your sun is not in cancer that is totally okay you can go off your rising sign your moon sign or any other planet that is in cancer for the flow of this video i'm going to start off with a brief introduction of the energy of cancer if you're not familiar i'll be giving out some characteristics qualities and all that good stuff and then I'll be transferring over to the crystal section of this video where I will be recommending five crystals that really resonate with the sign Cancer. Cancer, you have a way of making a house a home. This home can be pictured as a seaside temple at the center of your heart. Cancers are empowering, hopeful, and possess a protective energy towards the ones they love. The divine crab of the zodiac, there is no other zodiac given the function of creating life and families like a cancer. Cancers feel their emotions deeply. It is a good practice to have some sort of decompression to alleviate any anxieties or extra stressors that can naturally arise in life. Cancers make wonderful partners as family and feeling secure in their home is a top priority. Sometimes cancers can be a little too controlling or a little too codependent. And in this case, it is really good to have mutual communication with your partners because that's really key in keeping the peace. If you are lucky enough to have a cancer in your life, you know how welcoming and safe you feel in their presence. Cancers will always have your back and they always lead with their heart's wisdom. I personally do know a few cancers in my life and I gotta say they do have the most friendly and welcoming energy to them. When going about picking these crystal selections, I really do feel like I got a good full spectrum of cancer energy and I'm really excited to now dive into these crystals for cancer. The first crystal on our list for cancers is Moonstone. Moonstone is a stone of mystery. It has often been associated with feminine energy because of its ability to enhance the intuitive side of the mind. Moonstone has long been valued in helping one move closer to the Great Mother. Moonstone is a talisman for the inward journey. Meditating with it can take one deep into the self. I feel like cancers can be mysterious sometimes. We can kind of pick up how they're feeling by the way their body language is or kind of like their emotions are, even though they might not be vocally expressing it. It's like we can kind of pick it up a little bit, but they're a little bit shy sometimes with saying how they truly feel. Moonstone not only helps us really connect to the moon, but is such a great companion for us when we are on this inward journey. Cancer energy is one of the intuitive signs of the zodiac. They have this very nurturing energy to them. And with that, I definitely suggest working with any kind of moonstone for cancer energy. But if I had to pick a specific type of moonstone, hands down, I would be picking peach moonstone for you. <laughs> If I had to pick a crystal that is literally like the crystal for cancer, it has got to be peach moonstone because it is the essence of this beautiful cancer energy. Alrighty, and the next crystal on this list is black tourmaline. 
Black tourmaline is one of the best stones to keep one's auric field clear of imbalances, even in the presence of destructive energies. Black tourmaline has a way of filtering out bad vibes, clearing oneself and surroundings of negativity and disharmony. A true go-to for banishing all negative attachments within and around you. I was really thinking about how protective and strong cancers are and they really do have like this intuitive energy when it comes to sensing um, when they need to have their guard up. It's like they have this kind of like force field around them and the immediate go-to crystal for that energy I felt was black tourmaline. Black tourmaline is one of the best crystals for protection from outside influences. And I was really thinking about how cancers really care about their home, their security, the people in their life. You know, it's very, you know, their inner circle and they wanna protect them at all costs. A really good practice for cancer is to place black tourmaline outside their home. Um, by having black tourmaline outside your home, you are warding off any negativity that may be to come inside. You're protecting your home. I think this is a great practice for a cancer to do because it'll add that extra energetic security that they love inside knowing like they have some protective tools outside their, ho their house. <laughs> Definitely try out this crystal hack if you like feeling extra security in your home. <laughs> and the next crystal on our list is Morganite. Morganite brings a sense of emotional abundance, love, and peaceful acceptance and trust for the divine's plan for one's life. Morganite assists one in connecting to divine love and the angelic heart. It helps one to be receptive of the loving words, actions, and energy of others and to be less protective of one's emotional vulnerability. It teaches protection through love rather than fear. Cancer energy really starts at our heart chakra. If I had to pick a chakra that resonates the most with cancers, it would hands down be the heart chakra. This crystal selection is really a heart energy that is beaming out. You know, it's helping us connect with others. It helps us connect with spirit guides, with our angels, with the universe. It's really this outwardly love that is honestly so powerful that when we tap into that frequently and more often, it really has a way of transforming the way that we live our life. I personally believe that heart chakra crystals are one of the most transformational crystals out there. If you are a Cancer looking to really connect with the universe more, feel in flow with the universe, grabbing Morganite and working with it, it's gonna take you there and you're really gonna love it. <laughs> the next crystal on our list is Pink Opal. Pink Opal clears and calms the heart and brings a sense of peace and tranquility to one's aura. It is excellent for releasing past trauma, tension, and stress that remains in the heart center. Pink opal can help those with excessive fear, worry, or anxiousness. It is useful in dissipating stress and allowing one to become more emotionally centered and calm. Quick side note, um, I'm filming this section, the end of this video, on a separate day because I didn't realize the camera stopped recording <laughs> and I realized when I was editing, so if you notice any difference in the background or my sunburn, that is because I am filming the rest of this on a different day. <laughs> I chose another pink heart chakra crystal because the energy of pink opal, instead of it being like an outward direction, it's more of like an inward direction that we feel in our heart chakra. Pink opal has a way of really heightening our emotions and this can be very necessary because sometimes we need kind of like an energetic clearage to really release um, any built up emotions that are kind of holding us back or weighing us down and just helping us fully surrender to kind of like pick ourselves up and keep going. Something that I have noticed whenever I work with P Pink Opal is that I get so emotional that most of the time whenever I connect with this stone, I cry. <laughs> and this is very normal. You know, you can have this kind of like release inside which, which can come out in tears. Um, you can verbally kind of like say those things that are kind of weighing you down and replace them with positive affirmations, you know, like saying it, letting it go, and then restating, you know, a positive affirmation to build up your energy, build up your heart chakra, um, to feel that self-love connection. 
I really believe that pink opal connects so well with cancer energy because it has a way of really opening up our soul. It almost feels like we're getting this huge big hug when we're connecting with pink opal and it just really resonated with me with cancer energy because they are so loving and have this like inner and outer love so i hope you enjoyed these two heart chakra crystals so this last crystal on this list actually isn't a crystal but i felt like it really resonated so much with cancer energy and that is an abalone shell Abalone shells are said to activate intuitive qualities like clarity in regards to situation, sensitivity, and imagination. In regards to healing, abalone carries energies of protection and emotional balance. It brings with it a natural shielding that blesses the person holding it with tranquility. Abalone shells are pretty popular, I would say. I see them a lot at metaphysical stores, crystal shops, even farmers markets. and. Really when I see an abalone shell, I instantly have like this calming um, sensation. I just feel really at peace whenever I see an abalone shell. I feel like abalone shells really bring this sense of rebirth and it really does connect us with the ocean, like those ocean vibes. Uh, a really popular practice with abalone shells is to cleanse with them, doing cleansing rituals with abalone shells. Probably the most uh, popular like cleansing method with an abalone shell is to smudge your space. So you would have your abalone shell and your smudge stick and you would just walk around your home. You could do this with your body as well and just cleanse your sacred space. Um, if you didn't necessarily want to use abalone in that way, you can also get abalone shells that are kind of in a shape. I have a little heart shape <laughs> abalone right here. Um, so whichever way you want to connect with it, if you just want to hold it kind of maybe use it as like a worry stone or what have you, you can connect with abalone in those ways. Overall, if you wanna connect more with your cancer energy or just even connect more with the water element, you know what I mean? Getting an abalone shell is a wonderful ritual tool for those things. Alrighty guys, so that is it for today's video. I hope that the crystals I highlight can act as like a crystal energy pack for anyone with cancer in their birth chart so you can harness your unique gifts, talents, and qualities that you share with the world and the ones around you. Let me know in the comments where cancer is in your birth chart. I would love to know. If you liked today's video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you are new here, I would love it. If you subscribed, maybe check out my other Zodiac videos. We're on number four now. So if you want to catch up on the rest, definitely go check them out. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here and I will see you in my next one.